Good morning, sir, and good morning, everyone. Welcome to our presentation on cloud computing project. So the name of our project is College Vision. We made this project in order to fulfill some objectives. The objectives of our projects are making academics task easier for students, to avoid using multiple apps for different purposes, providing all features necessary for students at one place, enabling uh, students to interact with friends and faculty easily, making faculty tasks easier and interactive, and embedding a innovative uh, attendance system. Now, now, in order to reach our objectives, we made an app called College Vision. In the process of making this Android application, the technologies we used are first Figma. We used Figma to design the basic design of the application and find out various components of the application. Second, Flutter. We used Flutter to build the front-end part of our application and building the rest of the logics inside the application using the Dart language. Third, Firebase. We used Firebase as a backend, which provided our application with functionalities like database uses, cloud storage, authentication, etc. So now, after the technologies required for our application, let us see what our app can do. So here are the functionalities of our application. Authentication. You can secure your data by creating an account. You can log in safely without any issues. And also you can reset the password in case you forget it. So these functionalities of the app are provided by Firebase. And the next functionality is using the database to store the student's data. And further, we are retrieve, we can retrieve the data securely wherever necessary from the Firebase. We also have cloud storage facility in our app where we can store files in the cloud storage provided by Google Firebase. And finally, a very interesting chat feature which enables cloud messaging across the users of our application using their unique mail ID. So after looking at the functionalities of the application, let us understand the framework of the application. Soon after getting authentication, we will be redirected to the three main options which contain a home page, chat page and a settings page. Coming to the home page, we divided the contents of our app into two categories according to the student necessity. So the home page has two sections namely academics and self-focus. In the academic section, there are student center, project, study material and schedule. The student center, uh, in the student center, students can find their results and their schedule and the time of their examination. In the project section, we can find the projects assigned by the faculty along with their due submission dates and other details regarding the project. And in the study material section, we can find the study material uploaded by the faculty and also we can keep our ship, keep our own reference uh, notes aside uh, so that all materials will be available at one place. Finally, the schedule. We have the academic schedule or timetable of the current semester. So this is all about student center. Coming to the self-focus, we have attendance, feedback and magazines here. In the academic part, a student can find his or her attendance, history and eligibility criteria for exams. And in feedback session, we have two kinds of feedback to be given by the students. One is the feedback they give to the course they have, uh, they have and the other is a feedback they give to the faculty they have. They can submit their feedback and response here. Finally, we have institute magazines in this session. So this is what all continued uh, in the home page. Coming to the setting page, we have notification turn on and or, or off about the author or us guide for using the application and finally logout option which log, logs the user out safely. Coming, finally coming to the chat session, we have individual chats and group chats here. We can create new groups and discuss projects with teammates here. Itself instead of using multiple applications for getting things done. So this is the framework of our application. So now after getting clear with the framework, so let us see the working of the application. So 
in our application the data transfer takes place between the app and cloud storage and database according to the functionality we are using so if you observe yeah so this is a login page of our application so here the user like the student have to enter his institute mail id and along with their password so after entering the username and password after clicking the login they will be redirected to the home page so this is the home page they have chat section here and settings page here so in the home page uh, you can see the name of the user or the student is displayed there and also they have the id here so they can have all the details of that particular student so you can use this as an eid so like uh, eid and then here we have all the things necessary like about the college the college website location etc so in the academic section we have student center project work study material and academic schedule so now coming to the student center so here we have the results and exams so in the results we, you, you can check the semester wise results and track and in exam section so you can uh, see the schedule of the mid semester and end semester examinations and also quizzes if there are any so this is about student center coming to the project works you can see all the list of projects assigned by the faculty here and then coming to the study material you can find all the uh, notes provided by the faculty and also in the study material you can also have the my notes section and the faculty notes is where faculty upload so in my notes you can upload your own notes for the references so coming to the academic schedule you have the uh, academic schedule of the particular semester here so this is all about the academics so in the student center to view the results you need to enter the semester number and you need to enter your email id if you enter the wrong email id uh, it will not show the results so after entering the semester and email id if you click on view results so this is the results page it will show uh, cgpa and sgpa from the subjects and grades and then so that is all about the student center so coming to the reflect on you, we have attendance. So you can see the attendance here. Also, you can see the eligibility criteria. Like if you meet the eligibility criteria, so you, you are eligible to write the examinations. So coming to the feedback, so you have course feedback and faculty feedback here. So you can select uh, any of the courses from from list of courses you have. So and then you can give a rating to it. And then there, there is optional like you can give a review if you want. So you can enter any review about the course and then you can click on submit. If you click on the submit, the data will be saved into the database. So in the feedback, you have the faculty feedback also. So you have all the list of faculty members here for that particular semester. So just like the course, you can add rating and you can also write any review also here. So after giving the rating and writing the review, you can submit that. And then this also will be saved in the database. So coming to the magazine section, you'll have like this is a magazine magazine sample. So you can add uh, institute magazines here. So this is a PDF viewer. So this app is having inbuilt PDF viewer uh, so that you can view the documents inside it. So this is all about reflect on you. So and coming to the uh, chat section here, you can search for your friends using their institute mail IDs. You cannot use username because the like students may enter different usernames uh, as per their wish. So you need to enter the institute mail ID and search for the people. So you'll find the people along with their username. So then just like in the normal chat application, you can send the messages and all these messages will be stored in the cloud, cloud database. So you can talk with like all the students from, from here itself instead of switching between different apps like WhatsApp and all etc. So and also you have the groups also here so you can create uh, groups here and you can also chat. So this is already created group. So yeah, you can text group uh, text in the group. So the details will be shown like who which person is texting. And also you can create the groups by clicking on this icon. So the user is by default added into the group and then you can search for other users to, uh, who, who are to be added into the group. So yeah, if you, yeah, so you, if you click on this plus icon, the user will be added into the group. 
yeah so now searching for the another user uh, the, you should use only the institute mail id for searching uh, people so after searching you will get the results so you can click on this icon so now you need to like uh, give a name to the group like let us name it some new group 2 then if you click on create group uh, the group will be created so now you can see the new group which we have created now so this is all about the chat application so you can have individual chats here and also you can have the group chats here so that is a home page and that is a chat application uh, chat part of our application and then uh, coming to the settings page you have the things like notifications about authors guide and logout etc and so here you have the details about the uh, institute so you can click on the logout yeah so you can al you also have the reset password option in case you forget it so you can uh, enter your email id uh, for which you have forgot the password so then if you click on the send request it will so it will send a uh, reset link to the mail like you can click on that link and you can reset the password as mentioned in the objectives our goal is to make the faculty task too easier so we created another version of this application for the faculty so they can log in or sign up here and they can just enter the uh, their user like email id and then password so this is for faculty so faculty will be logging in with their uh, email and password so then after logging in you can see this is the home page so you can you have the basic things like uh, upload pdf so you can select the file here as this is an emulator uh, we don't have any files here so once we select the files and we can upload them so they will be stored directly into the uh, cloud storage and then they can also assign the projects so they can enter the uh, title of the like the subject and then the title of the project and they can give any details regarding the project like any specifications if they want so they can give the all the details regarding the project so here it is the app or website should uh, like it should be using the cloud functions cloud services so after entering this uh, we can add the due date also it is in the format of year month and date and then you can submit uh, if you can click on the submit details so if you click on that uh, that details will be saved into the firebase so then here we have something called generate qr so this is for the attendance system faculty can like enter a, like they can generate a random qr code every day and the students will have to uh, scan the qr code so that their attendance will be marked so this is the new attendance system we uh, brought here so this is a logout so you can log out from here so so this helps like this kind of attendance system helps in saving the time so these are the basic features of the faculty version of this application so the rest of the authentication services are same here so these are our android applications so like which are made in order to make students and faculty tasks easier finally coming to the conclusion we built an android application for students technologies used flutter firebase and figma made two versions of app cloud services are provided by firebase we shall extend the application further with the elegant features and here are the references we used in the making these applications so this is our project for the cloud computing our team members are myself amar ashtosh rana nikhil namrata and soumya we end up our presentation here and thank you sir for giving us the opportunity and guiding us throughout the project.